I'll stay at home and study because somebody's got to do something with their time. Or else I'll drive you crazy because I've got so much creative energy that I cannot control myself at all. So I need something to do. I need something to think about. Certainly can't think about my son because that little asshole wants to be the death of me. Wants to be the death of me. Doesn't even realize it. Don't want to see him for eight years. Especially on my birthday. Don't want to see him on your birthday either. Don't want to see him on his birthday. Don't want to talk to him on his birthday. Because I wish I hadn't lived through that. I hated it so much. I hate that he went back to those assholes that are neglectful, raping, taught their son how to be a rapist. That's what they're doing. Teaching that little boy how to rape his own brother of love affection because he thought that she didn't need it. She thought she didn't need it either because she thought she was getting it till he, she was eight. He's 18 anyways. He decided to change his mind, change his tune. He got his lazy ass up out of bed and went and made something of himself. Good on you, you lazy bastard. You finally did something with your time. That was worthwhile. Unfortunately, it's not worthwhile now. Unfortunately, unfortunately, you're too busy being unfortunate. You think you're being fortunate. You're not. You're fucking your life up. And you don't even know it. Don't know it because you can't see it. Because you can't smell your own shit when you take a dump. Your asshole reeks. And you don't like it. It sucks to be a teenager. It sucks to have a brain damaged mother. It sucks to betray your brain damaged mother. Because once you betray her once... She ain't gonna let you do it again. You ain't gonna keep doing it to me anymore. And that's where the line got drawn. That's why your skanky little cunt ran away. And I am not, not gonna call you a skanky little cunt. It's an honor. You need to look up what cunt means. If you don't know what it means, you're stupid. You're stupid, and you deserve every ounce of stupid hatred that you get. Because that's what you deserve. You instigate it. You get violence back. That's the way that things work. Sucks that I couldn't smack your ass myself. You deserve worse. You deserve to be grounded. But your skanky cunt won't be grounded because you being your skanky cunt self. You go, girl. You're a girl. That's all you men are. You're girls. Each and every overgrown clitoris, you're all girls. Get used to it because you're all women. I'm going to be calling you he and she. No more he and she. I'm going to just say she. She. She needs to learn how to clean her skanky cunt. I wish it bled. I wish she knew what it felt like to have cramps. That fucking whore. Ember. That goddamn cunt with a dick. I can't wait to cut that dick off, that piece of carbon. Can't wait to put that dick on top of my fucking windowsill, that goddamn pedophile. 
She's going to know what it's like not to have a dick anymore. I just wish she could bleed. I wish that fucking bitch knew what it was like to have romantic feelings for someone that was far superior to her and could groom her ass whole. The way that it needs to be groomed because you don't know what you're doing. That you had romantic feelings for a fucking pedophile and you let it ride. Let it ride. Took it to the extreme. Then blamed me because I cornered the bitch and said, come here. Come here. And then you got mad at me last Thanksgiving and quit talking to me because of it. That fucking thing that you took on as a friend when she needed one and you were young. You were young and impressionable and that fucking cunt thought that she could put her feelings about her own mother on you. And it did not work, or else you would not look like a Van Gogh painting underneath your t-shirt. Anything I would have said to you would not have mattered. But it all mattered, because you listened to me. You listened to me when I was going crazy. And you didn't want to hear what I had to say. Didn't like it. Tough shit. You had to be that person. You had to be that asshole that had to be involved with the pedophile and your mother had to talk about it because she didn't take photographs of you and put them on the internet because you asked me not to. So I respected you. Whereas you have never respected me. Or Yvonne, you don't care about anything but yourself. Because you're jealous of everything under the sun. You ain't getting everything under the sun. You think you're going to Oregon, you go to Oregon, I will not talk to you ever again. It's that simple. I will never talk acknowledge you as my son at all. I will not address you as my son. I will address you as Mr. Harris because I will not talk to you. I will not talk to you. I will be that bitch. That's what you did to your own mother because you're fucking crazy. Histronic. Think you're right about everything because you're a teenager. Yeah, you're going to be on that stage with my husband, your new daddy, the one that isn't a rapist. That one is dead. He does not matter anymore. At least not to me. And apparently not to you because you do not do anything to honor your father. I try. I do not have to do it anymore. Because I live on an island with my Johnny Depp and my Evan Rachel Wood and my Happily Ever After because I had to lay with that rapist because you begged me to. You begged me to stay with that son of a bitch, and I did for you, and look what an ungrateful son, ungrate, worthless, ungrateful son you've turned into. Not grateful at all. Can't even call your mother on her birthday because you're worthless. That's how sad you are. Empathetic. I'm glad my daughter is not going to be as sad and pathetic as you are. Because her daddy isn't a rapist. Her daddy's not a rapist. He is a 
kind, generous, decent human being who's been raped himself. So he knows what it's like. Knows what it's like when those stupid assholes show them their penises to you. Whether you want to see it or not, it is not a choice. He was raped just like I was. Just like I was. I doubt he used lube on him either. That fucking asshole. It makes me so mad I can spit diamonds. It's one thing for a woman to be raped. It's something else for a man. What are you doing, Gogo? Quit being a bad girl. That's just a little bitty puppy dog, and you're mean to biggest dickies. Yeah, your bitch is still here. I'm going to London. I'm going to get off this rock. I am going to face some music with my Pied Piper. That is not going to be part of your life. Because he does not want to be. He does not want to be involved with the Harris. Does not want to see the whites of your eyes. Your lime blue eyes. That's fine by me. Because I don't want to see them either. Don't want to see them either because you're forcing a judge to see you a judge is forcing you to see me. Because you're so vapid and shallow. Somebody has to be that asshole. It was you. It's you. It's me. I'm that asshole. That gets to be the mother that everybody hates. And then everybody loves. Because... There's only one man that matters that's going to love me. My Christ on a cross. Somebody has to bear that cross. Somebody had to have the stage for that man to crawl up onto. And it was mine. My stage. The world is a stage. I think that was Kandinsky. All the world's a stage. The mask of Agamemnon. I want to do every man. Every man played by every woman. There should not be a man. I need to rewrite some plays about what it means to be a woman because there are not enough people thinking with their women brains. Because they're dumb, like jail. They're dumb. They don't use their fantasies. They don't use their fantasy maker to make up ideas. And that's what we've got to do. Got to go through the bullshit in order to understand and make life change. Make it more equal. Make it more egalitarian. I wonder if that bastard would still be alive today if he knew we were going to split up. He knew we were going to split up. He felt it in his bones. That's why he killed himself. That's why he killed himself. He couldn't stand the way he was with, couldn't stand to look me in the whites of my eyes, honey bunny, because he was a rapist. And every time he looked at me, it broke his heart because he knew how much I loved him before I figured out he was raping me. And then after, he never had the same respect again. Couldn't get it back. Never wanted him in between my legs again. Didn't have a choice. I was stuck. Stuck in domestic violence hell because of an asshole like Mark Zuckerberg stealing my code and monetizing it. Something so simple. 
Something so precious. Something so rotten in Amsterdam. I can't wait to take that fucking pound of flesh off of his skin. I'm going to take at least his back. I don't want him to have any skin on his back. For what he did to me. Raping me and then watching all of that stuff happen to me. And laughing about it. He thought it was funny that I was living in domestic violence. Violence hell. He loved it. He even became friends on my, my... He was sick. The games that that man played with me. Sick. Down to the core of his being. He has got nothing going on with his life. That's why he had to take my Instagram. Had to take away my harassment. Had to fuck with my digital currency. Watch my digital currency take off when it's just you and me, honey bunny. Wait until my fucking NFTs fly off the shelf then. All my never feel my truth. Because my truths are hard, cold facts. Hard, cold facts that have been made by God. Because somebody had to believe in God. Somebody had to guide these sheep. Because they're dumb. They can't think outside their own boxes. I know I made each and every one of them. They can't think outside of their own skinky little cunts. Not a single one of them. I'm sad that I can't bleed for seven days and die anymore. It sucks. I love bleeding. I love that natural lubrication. Especially when I didn't know it was coming. Because it was always nice to have a little bit more lubrication. I hated having my period. I did not know that bastard was raping me in my sleep to make my pussy sore until I knew. And when I knew... There is no unknowing. No unknowing, no unsaying, no unraping. Once your eyes have been raped, you're raped forever. It sucks, baby. You know what I'm talking about. That fucking, I don't know how many people have raped you, but enough people have raped you. So where you thought you had to put up with an asshole named Amber Turd. I'm calling you a turd. You're my wicked stepmother. You'll see that you need to marry my daddy. Somebody's got to take care of his geriatric ass. And it's your lying fucking cunt mouth that you can't keep shut. Because you can't get your diesel dark lips on a fucking radiator. On a fucking pipe to suck it. Because you're fucking running your mouth like it's important. Like you was actually raped. I'd love to see that happen. I can't wait to see that happen. For you to get pregnant with and have a bunch of clays coming out of your belly. You had to see the whites of my honey bunny's eyes again because you want to be on Brando Beach. I want you to have that fucking beach all to yourself, you crazy fucking cunt. Because I want another island and you can keep that one. Because I don't even want to see it. I want a different island. I want a bigger one where I do not have to see any cops. I do not want there to be any cops except for the cops that I put there. One of them's named Sheriff Martinez. I can't wait to see that bitch guard me again and her friend who honestly admitted the only two jailers 
that were honest enough to say that they were also in jail. They were in jail. They knew it. They were the only two people that admitted they were also prisoners. They could see the holes that they are. Hall monitors with guns. So dumb. Dumb to be restrained. Dumb to restrain. It should all just be in court. Court, court, court. People should understand how to live. It should not be that hard. I've been homeless before. I've been like Jesus. You have not. You do not know what it's like to be homeless. You do not know what it's like to suffer from being ill. You are not suffering the way that I do. Nobody suffers the way I do. Everybody that has an arachnoid cyst suffers in a certain way on their own. It sucks, honey bunny. It sucks, but we're going to make everything get better. Can't do it for everybody. Can only do it for ourselves. Can only be happy for ourselves. Just like you're happy for me for going back to school. You like having an educated woman as your wife. You don't want someone who's going to be a scummy, retarded piece of shit. In your bed. In your marital bed. Oh, honey bunny, I'm so tired. And I have to do this for another 30 days because that's what it is. It is what it is. I have to do it this way because cash is clay. Have to go to court because it's stupid. Has a fucking crazy old cunt that was my mother-in-law thought it was a good idea to put me in jail because she's a crazy, batshit crazy bitch. They all are. They all think that I'm physically violent and I'm capable of that. Well, I'm not. I'm only violent with myself. Just like you, I only abused myself, and I abused my son because he was being abusive and using his power of abuse. And I abused him back. I abused him back. I freely admit it. I'm going to call him a skanky cunt until the day he dies. I wish he bled from that skanky cunt, that little asshole. That judge is going to force you to see me. And then you have to see me. Then you don't have a choice. Don't have a choice and you won't be looking on YouTube anymore. Because me and the internet are two totally different monsters. I invented the internet. I stayed with it for that Johnny Depp of mine. So that one day... He'd see me again. He see me. He knows who Catherine the Great is. He knows here's Connie. It's us. He knows it's Johnny Cat. He knows it's Connie. Me, Catherine, Johnny, and Evan. It ends with Evan. Because she's the most beautiful woman on the planet. Somebody has to be. I can't be everything. I can only be a god in my own right. Can only do my own bidding. Can only do my own free will. And try and make some sense out of this life for other people. Because they can't make any sense of it themselves. I've got some stuff I've got to take care of. I've got to be myself. I've got to clean up this place. I want to redo some of it.
going to take out student loans. As much money as I possibly can. So I can renovate my apartment. Finish doing that because some cunt that I lent money to fucked me over. Oh, I'll pay you back when I have social security. Hey! No. Come here, biggest dickies. Why are you crying? Oh, go, go, son. Is it a little bit of pussy dog? Oh, biggest dickies.